I'd like to take this opportunity to show you this new book that I've been involved with. So this is Embroidery, a Maker's Guide, and this is from the Victoria and Albert Museum and published by Thames Hudson. And I'm really thrilled to have been um, a contributor to some of the projects in this book. It's based on um, items of embroidery from the V&A collection. So there's some really unusual techniques in there, techniques you're not going to find in any other embroidery book. So I'll take you through the book and we'll have a little look at some of them. Okay, so you've got a little introduction, you've got your tools and materials, and there's a stitch guide in the book as well. So all of the stitches in the projects um, are at the front of the book, so you can refer to that to find all of the stitches. And then we have a section on all the different techniques. Now, as I said, they're quite unusual techniques because they're based on pieces in the collection, um, which you can search online, by the way. So we've got, um, let's look at this one, for example. So this is coggin work. This is a Japanese form of darning stitch embroidery. So there's a little bit about the actual technique in there, some samples from the museum's collection. Here is a kimono from their collection and then there's a project based on that so this is a book cover so all the projects are um, actual items that you can make up or use or wear um, which is really nice idea and um, this is by my friend and colleague Lucy Barter now Lucy runs the San Francisco School of Needlework and Design so if you're in the United States and you want to learn some embroidery check her out I'll put her link to the school um, in the description below. So Lucy's done this book cover, so it tells you what you need for each project, um, how to make it up, so there's lots of diagrams and instructions. Because they are all um, finished items, um, it shows you how to make the item up as well. And then there's a little section at the end with some other ideas if you want to make it a little bit personal to you as well. So you get that for each section in the book, so we've got lots of exciting um, projects in here. We've got the Japanese work there, we've got Berlin wool work, um, we've got Bargello, a little flick through here, black work. So um, this is one of the projects that I worked on. So I took my inspiration here from this black work sleeve, this beautiful sleeve here, and it's got lots of little moths and butterflies and dragonflies all over it. So I made these two napkins here. So there's two of them. So we have um, a moth there from the sleeve and a dragonfly as well. So those are the two projects for the black work section. Here they are. Again instructions on how to make up. All the patterns counted out for you can follow the patterns. Um, you can have a go at making your own as well if you want to. We've got Porcari work. It's a cushion. Um, here's the crawl work one, which is another one that I worked on. So this is um, a bag that I took my inspiration from and I took this fruit here, this raspberry. So this is the little pouch that I made. It fits a phone or you can put your makeup in it or um, a little sketchbook and a pen, whatever you like. You can turn it into what you want to, to make it into. So there's the little pouch and you can see the inspiration here. I took this and developed that into this design here. all of the information you need. Chinese silk, some really unusual techniques in here. We've got a bit of gold work. So here's the green man sew on patch. There's another one. Here's a little chap here. You can make him into anything you want to, but he's made into a little patch. So he's quite small, so quite versatile. You can use him. He's Opus Anglicanum gold work technique from unusual medieval embroidery techniques, so quite unusual to find that in a, in a new book about embroidery. And we've got some art needlework. These projects are all done by different embroiderers or working in the industry. Some lovely more um, of Lucy's work. There's her floral white work bunting. Some Mount Mellet work. And we've got some embellishments as well. So shisha embroidery. And just find there's the beetle wing. I haven't got the beetle wing piece with me. It's on display in the Victoria and Albert Museum shop. So if you happen to be there, pop by and have a look and you can see the actual piece there. And then at the end, we've got a little bit about um, the different makers involved in these projects. 
and you can read all about them. Um, if you want to buy the book, it's available from the V&A bookshop and um, from other outlets online. We'll put a link to those below here. And if you're going to try a project from the book, you can use a hashtag. So hashtag VAMMakers, I'll put that up on the screen. Hashtag VAMMakers and share your creations. Um, hope you have fun and enjoy the book.